do, let's go back to the IBC, our International Broadcast Center position, where Bob Costas is standing by. Bob? Brian, thanks again, and I'm flanked here by two of the great names in recent American Olympic history. Mary Lou Retton, who of course won five gold medals in 1984 at Los Angeles. She is still the only American gymnast ever to win the individual all-round gold medal. And Dwight Stones, who was part of three American Olympic teams, 72, 76, and again in 84, twice won the bronze medal in the high jump. Let's start with you, Dwight. You were 18 years old in your first Olympics in Munich. 30 when you wound up your Olympic career in Los Angeles. Did these opening ceremonies mean anything differently to you from one end to the other? Definitely. When I was 18, the splendor and pageantry of Munich was so awe-inspiring. The stadium, the Olympic Village, everything, that the Olympic opening ceremonies needed to be even more than that to really have me go crazy. When you walk in the stadium, it, it's an unexplainable, unexplainable feeling. But it wasn't as strong as it was in Montreal. In Montreal, my feeling was much different. I was uh, the odds-on chance for a gold medal. Everything about Montreal didn't match up to Munich, at least before the massacre. Mm -hmm. So the opening ceremonies were very inspiring to me. In 1984, having the games at home where I'd grown up my whole life, making the team at 30 and being a medal contender again was probably the best of the three feelings because I knew this was probably my last shot. Yeah. And it was at home and you get so few chances to be even in the Olympic Games, much less have one at home. So that was terrific. And Mary Lou, you were just 16 in 84 at Los Angeles. Were you able to fully appreciate the pageantry and the scope of what was happening and what you were involved in? You know, I, I don't think that I did. I did not realize that this truly was the Olympics until we marched into the stadium. I mean, and the crowd roared. And I never felt so proud to ever wear that USA on the back of my warm-up. And, and when they lit the flame and they officially opened the games, that's when it really hit me that these are the Olympic Games. And it was just so overwhelming for me because I was so young and that's when I truly appreciated it. Now both of you obviously were medal winners. Do you think perhaps that a competitor who has a chance to win a medal is focused more on his or her upcoming competition than on the opening ceremonies and these ceremonies might mean more to a lesser competitor for whom in effect entering the stadium is their victory lap for just making the team? I think so in some sense yes because I mean it's an it's accomplishment to just be an Olympian. But uh, myself being a medal contender, I was trying to have a good time and try and enjoy it, but there was always in the back of my mind that, you know, I've got to compete this week. So I couldn't really enjoy it fully. For example, many of the swimmers and divers whose competition comes up first are not taking part in the opening ceremonies. Exactly, and my situation was different. All three games I competed in, my competition days were the last two days of the Olympic Games. So I was able to thoroughly enjoy the opening ceremonies. And each time I felt I was a medal contender, but I, I still felt very excited about the idea. And I told some of the swimmers in 84, I said, when are you competing? Well, in two days. I said, sit down. You can't stand up during this whole thing. Don't miss it, certainly, but don't kill your legs over it. And I feel bad for people like John Neighbor in 1976 who did not march mm -hmm. because he had to compete so closely after the Olympic Games opened. Of course, he went out and won a slew of medals, so that's exactly. sort of made up we'll for it. We don't have to feel too bad for John, do we? <laughs> Thank you. Dwight Stones and Mary Lou Retton will return to Bryant Gumbel and Dick Enberg as this opening ceremony for the Games of the 24th Olympiad rolls on from Seoul, Korea, right after these messages.